I asked for a paternity test. It's positive. Now what? Plus two new updates. First of all, I know I made a big mistake. I know I hurt her but hear me out and be honest with me if I still could fix what I've broken or not. I'm Russian so don't mind my English. I'm using a throwaway. I 32M started to date 29F in 2021. We had a great relationship. She's calm, sweet, and considerate. We dated for a year then moved to another city. Everything was going great. We made new friends and built a life there. Problems started when a male best friend of hers decided to move to the same city and found himself a place right across the street. Things started to change. He would visit almost every day, my ex was a people pleaser. I tried to make it clear to her that it was getting annoying and that I didn't like that guy but she couldn't bring herself to tell him or set some boundaries. He was handsy and flirty in a way I couldn't stand. She would hint that she was not comfortable and he would behave but five minutes later he started with his usual. And she ends up telling me that he means nothing and he's like this with everyone. Fast forward to 2023. We found out she was pregnant. I was over the moon and both of us were extremely happy and excited. He stopped visiting and after like two months or so he moved back to his city. My ex and I had mutual friends. That's when one of our friends started connecting the dots and started telling me how she had suspected something but kept quiet because she didn't want to be the reason two people separated but couldn't hold this anymore. And played with my mind. She said that my girlfriend and her best friend probably had a thing going on based on the way they used to act whenever we were out with our friends. And how it's strange of him to leave just as she got pregnant. She suggested that I don't put the baby in my name until a paternity test has been completed. I told my GF about this and she didn't take it well. She broke up with me instantly and after a few weeks agreed to the paternity test thing, but she made it clear that nothing would change, that she would never forgive me and wouldn't ever come back to me if I ever regretted what I did and ask for forgiveness. I told her we could just forget about the test but she insisted. Our boy came a few days ago and we did the test. Yesterday I got the results. And yes, I feel my chest tight with regret. I didn't drink or eat anything, I couldn't even bring myself to go to work today. What do I do now? When we broke up I never stopped helping throughout the pregnancy, she refused almost everything but still, I was always there for her. Deep down I knew that baby was mine but the damage was done and I went with the plan. What to do now? How do I make it up to her? I know she would never come back to me. But how do I properly apologize? Just what to do now? Edit. Alright thank you all for your opinions, I knew. And I know now what an asshole I am. I know I fucked up. But I never said I was planning to ask her to come back to me since I knew I hurt her badly and was in no place to ask such a thing. I also made it clear I had no problem with taking responsibility as a dad I don't know why I got called names about it in the comments. I'm happily ready to do everything in my power to be the best dad to my son and of course financially too. Also, I did try to explain and genuinely apologize before even the test but she wouldn't listen. I'm ready and never gonna stop trying to apologize to her for the hurt I caused and I will always be there for the mother of my child. As for now. She just gave birth I won't it up with my problem. I will be there for her until I feel like it's a good time then I will ask to talk about it. Edit. For people asking how I brought up the test. We talked about it at home. I asked if she still thinks that her best friend's behavior is okay and she said yes. Then I tried to reason with her by asking her if it were the other way around would it be okay for her to see another girl being that flirty and handsy with me? Then she said, you don't have a childhood friend that I know of. Then I went and told her if his behavior was still okay for her then would it be okay for me to ask for a paternity test? She said if I didn't want kids I should have told her before and that she had no problem going back home, to another city, and raising her baby alone. That's where I lost it and said something along the lines that she was going after her best friend and asked if this was their plan, wrong of me I know. She broke up with me instantly. And just like I mentioned in the post. A few weeks later she called. Last edit, the mutual friend is married. She didn't make a move or anything but she's an ex-friend now. For people asking what the male friend did to make me this insecure. Well, whenever they're sitting beside each other he would keep running his hand up down her arm, ankle, or back, based on the way she's sitting. He would compliment her body or when she changed her hair color he would ask her to go back to whatever color he loved to see on her. He could be just too comfortable with his female childhood friend but I thought he could at least behave a little now that she's in a serious relationship. Also, some of you asked why I didn't talk to the guy directly. I didn't want to make her feel like a controlling freak so I tried to communicate with her and let her handle it the way I handled the whole situation was wrong. When I accused her of planning to go back to her city town just to be close to him, was wrong of me too. First update. Just like some of you advised me. 
I decided to do my part as a dad and also take care of the mother of my child and never try to talk about anything for now. I work 8 hours a day, I go back home, take a shower and go to her mother's house to help with the baby until 12 to 1 am. Then I go back home, rinse, and repeat. She's staying with her mom currently so I try my best to do my part, her mother has always been good to me, even when we broke up she called me and asked if I was okay. So since she's helping with my son, I order dinner for them every day, I'm bad cook, and try to help around the house when my son and ex asleep. I buy things for him and make it clear that I'm more than happy to buy whatever they ask me to because I still don't know much about the whole situation. That's all I can do for now. Three days ago her mother was showing me how to change his diaper properly. Which I nailed it. Anyway, she went downstairs and was just me, my ex and our baby in the room now. She said I'm sorry almost like a whisper. I asked her what for and she said nothing. I didn't want to press the issue and change the subject. Two days ago she was on her phone texting with someone. After a few minutes, she told her mother that her best friend visiting tomorrow to see her and the baby. Then she turned to me and asked me if I was okay with that, I said why wouldn't I be, then she said she just thought that I might not want him to see the baby. I told her it's her baby too why would that be a problem for me? Anyway, yesterday I was at work when my ex texted me asking if I could stop by one of her favorite places and bring her a steak, I said of course. The place close to my work and I used to buy her food on my way back home often. When I made it to her mother's house I saw my best friend's car parked. I'm not gonna lie I didn't want to see him and if not for the food I wouldn't have gone in because part of me was afraid of what I might see. Well her mother was happy to see me but happier than usual if that makes sense. My ex and her best friend were sitting beside each other on the couch. He said hi and kept scrolling on his phone, I handed her the food and went on with my routine with my son. But I couldn't help but notice how he kept his hands to himself. How he didn't throw inappropriate comments. They talked and laughed and everything just like before but without being handsy and flirty. I was getting ready to leave when my ex's mother said I looked tired and could stay for the night if I wanted to. I didn't cause it would be hard for me to go back to my place in the morning to get ready for work. I can't stop thinking about what could she have meant by I'm sorry. Why did she ask me if I was okay with her best friend visiting? I'm trying my best to forget about what happened and focus on co-parenting and nothing else but can't seem to stop thinking about things. Anyway, I just felt like getting it off my chest and giving an update. Thank you to the ones who advised without being rude about it. Latest update. The day after I posted an update, I was on my way home when I got a call from my ex's mother, she told me to not order or bring anything for dinner and she seemed a little off. Anyway, when I made it to her mother's house, my ex was breastfeeding so I went to help her mother set the table. Both my ex and her mother didn't talk at all and you could feel that something wasn't right. Her mother started a conversation about fatherhood and said something along the lines of you're a good dad yourself, I wouldn't have dreamed of a better dad to my grandchild my ex mumbled yeah wait until he disappears before his son even turns one year, like my father did, I felt myself shaking with rage, her mother snapped at her instantly. I said nothing as the baby was in the same room and didn't want to wake him up with raised voices, I quietly left. Before I even made it home she blew up my phone with texts and missed calls. She was begging me to answer her call. I did. She apologized for bringing up my father and said she was angry at herself for everything and instead of trying to fix things she just made it even worse. She then said that she couldn't say this face to face and asked if I could just listen to her without cutting her off until she finished. She apologized about how she didn't stop her best friend from ruining our relationship and that she now realizes how wrong the way both of them used to act. I didn't say anything I just kept listening to her. She also mentioned that her mother made her realize how flirting and touching were too much for any man in his right mind to accept. She talked and talked and I listened until she got everything out and asked her the question that had been eating me up because I needed closure to put everything behind me. I asked her if anything happened between them when we were still together and she said no but the night he came to see the baby he admitted to having feelings for her which made her realize that the way he was handsy and flirty with her wasn't innocent. I went the next day to see my son, I had a conversation with her mother about everything, and she advised me to not let anything get in the way of my relationship with my son. I reassured her that my son's well-being all I care about and nothing can affect the way I care about him. She also apologized for what he daughter said and validated my feelings. Later my ex asked if both of us could start therapy to work out everything properly for the sake of our son so we co-parent the best way we could. She looked more relaxed in herself for the first time after everything and apologized again for bringing up my father and how she hated herself for it. That's all I don't think there will be any more updates. This is for me, both of us decided to do what is best for our son. 
For people advising me in the last post, I already went the legal route to get my legal rights to my child, I just forgot to mention it. I will delete the posts and my account this week I just wanted to let you know how things went since I already shared my problem with you. Thank you for your opinions, especially the ones that tried to see things from my perspective and tried to be kind to me. Edit. She dropped her friend what she said when she was talking about when he admitted to having feelings for her. Edit. If you read my previous posts you'd know that I apologized many times for my mistakes. I never said I didn't make any or didn't genuinely apologize.